Hai hai semuanya, gue Zeno. Gue masih ngelanjutin game Afrexisca Vertigo. Uh, sebelumnya gue mau minta maaf karena di episode yang kemarin gue agak keder. Jadi di adegan akhir-akhir itu gue agak bingung siapa yang Lisa, siapa yang Victoria, atau siapa yang sebenarnya jadi si Faye itu. Jadi gue pikir yang Victoria itu yang didorong. Uh, tapi ternyata Lisa yang didorong. Terus selama proses pendorongannya si Lisa sampai jatuh itu, Victoria berusaha merubah Lisa jadi Victoria dengan cara apa? Dengan cara dia lepasin sepatunya, terus dia pakein jaketnya ke dia, jaketnya yang pink yang sebelumnya dipakai Victoria dipakein ke Lisa. Terus itu dia lepasin kacamatanya. Terus dengan embel-embel Face to the Ground atau itu judul novelnya si Ed ya, itu artinya tuh dia pengen si Victoria ini ngebuat Lisa jatuh dengan kondisi muka yang hancur sehingga nggak dikenalin. Nah, kalau udah nggak dikenalin berarti tujuannya si Victoria itu berhasil karena Victoria mau yang jatuh itu dikira dia yang jatuh. Padahal sekarang Victoria itu masih hidup dan menjadi Lisa. Jadi mereka bertukar. Sama udah bapaknya sampai stres, tapi kenyataannya malah kayak gini, kacau. kacau. <tuh> Asli gue penasaran banget sih gimana cerita kelanjutannya. Kalau gitu kita langsung mulai aja ke game ya. apa nih yang dilakuin sama si gila ini sweetheart what did the bread do to make you want to torture it like that I don't know it's fun can we go to the movies yeah yeah sure if you take your medicine we can go this weekend oh, dad what did the doctor say <sighs> Muka bapaknya kayak karakter One Piece. That's better. Can we go to the movies today? Oh, uh, right. Not today. I have to work. You always have to work. Sweetheart. I'm meeting Ed Miller at five, so... It's always Miller. Did you like our vacation last summer? Mm-hmm. Well, we wouldn't have gone to Paris or Rome if it hadn't been for Miller's book tour. It's always that Miller guy. And that's a good thing. If his second book goes like the first one did, I'll have a ton of time to spend with you. Besides, he's a great guy, and he really cares about you, if you just give him a chance. But, it's just... Sweetheart, I'm running late. I have to brush my teeth. We'll talk about this later. Hmm. Sekarang kita keliling-keliling dulu. Pick a wine, Ed. We have to work late anyway, so why not enjoy it? You should get to bed, Veronica. It's late. Set hmm? kelihatan. Transparan banget nih gelas. Veronica, baby girl, it's not Ed's fault that you got cut. It wasn't his job to pick up the broken glass. 
better think of a different plan. I'm not gonna let them. Not the doctors, not Miller, not anybody. No one's turning me into a lame brain or stealing dad from me. Fine inspiration. Wow. <clears throat> hmm. No. What if something happened to dad? Pills, but they'd know they were mine. What if Dad walks in and catches me? I'm turning it, Dad, but nothing's happening. Okay, I'll keep trying. Can you, Dad? No, I can't. You try again. I was really scared, Dad. Hey, come on. It wasn't that bad. Mm, I love you so much, Daddy. I love you too, sweetheart. <sighs> Get cracking. I'm gonna be late for a meeting, and you're gonna be late for school. Yeah, right. The bus comes in 45 minutes. Okay, but don't get sidetracked, because then you'll miss it again. Don't stare at it like that. Be patient. Ten months till your birthday, and a promise is a promise. Who's daddy's pretty little girl? <laughs> Veronica. Be good, sweetie. Of course. Forty-five minutes. You're the only one who knows what really happened to Mary. Yeah, I know I barely talk to you anymore, but I've grown up. There we go. Hmm. 
<laughs> Those were good times. Was it Pajam? Acha. Was it Isabel's girl? Semua obatnya ditaruh situ, nggak dimakan. We are the same. If they touch us, we fry them. I'll save the photos there later. Okay. Everything was going just fine till Miller showed up. Daddy is mine, and everything will go back to being just fine. Jadi kayaknya udah ketahuan motifnya. Kacau juga sih. Tepangnya. Maybe not. It has to look like he took the pictures. Padahal dipegang aja sekalian ngambil tripod. Kira langsung nempel. Kacau, kacau. Miss Veronica, the bus. I'm coming, Reginald. You're going to miss it again. <sighs> School's going to go by so slowly today. Hi, Ed. Where's my dad? I was just going to ask you the same thing. Oh. Then I guess I have to be nice. To people at our house. <laughs> Be the host. Yeah, <laughs> you writers are so cool, knowing all those complicated well, words. Well, you know, we're not that cool. Should I tell Reginald to bring you something to drink? That's okay. I'm, I'm all right. Oh man, I want to be a good host. Oh. Well. Yes. Whatever you want. Okay. Thanks.
I brought you the whole picture in case you want more. Wow, you're the perfect host. Well, it's hot as Hades. Even worse in this uniform. I'm gonna get changed. Have you heard from your dad? No. Berarti dia tuh udah ngasih obat mulu ke dia dari dulu. little secret I won't tell a single soul huh? oh Robert finally dad I didn't think you'd be here so early uh, but you told me what are you two up to what's your little secret secret Veronica um, Ed got here a little early because he wanted some pictures of me in my school uniform for something in his book. And he just took them on his phone, and they turned out super, super cool. You want to see them, Daddy? That was the end of a beautiful friendship. Robert threatened to report me to the police, but I did it myself. They arrested me, obviously. But when they inspected my phone, the picture's metadata indicated that the photos had been taken with another device. Plus, mm. the time didn't match Veronica's testimony either. They found the same drugs in my blood as the ones present in Veronica's meds, as well as all the pills she hadn't taken still in her room. Robert apologized, but we decided not to continue working together. We grew apart. Not long after that, Robert checked Veronica into a mental hospital. When I heard about her death, I called Robert in case... I don't know. He thanked me. We hung up and haven't spoken since. And that's it. I have no idea how Robert's been these last few years. I do. He came to me shortly after Veronica's funeral. He needed help and told me his story. Veronica was two years old when Robert adopted her. I never looked into her previous life, nor her biological family story. But I have a friend who might... Doctor, are you going to tell me what on earth Veronica has to do with any of this? Veronica did not die in the psychiatric hospital. She died two weeks ago. What? Veronica is Faye. As a kid, I'd pretend I was a pirate and unearth buried treasures. As a kid, I'd play spy games and discover classified information. As a kid, I made up a character I could talk to. As an adult, I buried my childhood. As an adult, I covered up my childhood. As an adult, the character I created took my place and never let me speak. My father succumbed to alcohol. My father got lost in obsession. My father lost sight of the world. My father became a stranger. My father was a reason my mother wasn't happy. 
My mother couldn't put up with him anymore and searched. My mother's only way of coping was to search outside the home. My mother didn't deserve to be treated the way she was at home, so... My sister Jenny was a product of that search. My sister Jenny wasn't supposed to be born into my family. My sister Jenny was the only thing that... My father reacted in the worst possible way. My father caused an accident that killed. My father deliberately killed my mother and my... Alcohol led my father to cause an accident. Obsession caused my father to react. My mother and my sister died at the Brody Canyon. My mother and my sister were murdered at the Brody Canyon. My father wanted to liberate himself jumping off of that scene. My father didn't have the spine to own up to what he'd done and jumped off of that scene. Remorse same. led my father to jump off of that scene. I'd forgotten how I felt. Did I feel Everything furious? Does. Afraid? Sad? Did I feel hatred? Did I feel alone? Did I feel nothing? Did I feel everything? My Aunt Claire took care of me when I was left all alone. My Aunt Claire helped me forget. My Aunt Claire forced me to forget. My Aunt Claire buried my childhood. My Aunt Claire covered up my childhood. For almost 30 years I've lived. For 27 years I've lived. For most of my life I've been fighting captive memories. For 27 years I've been stifling memories As that a were kid I'd pretend I was a pirate and unearth buried treasures. As an adult I buried my childhood. My father got lost in obsession. My mother didn't deserve to be treated the way she was at home so. My sister Jenny was a product of that search. My father caused an accident that killed. Remorse led my father to jump off of that same. My Aunt Claire buried my childhood. I'd forgotten how I felt. For 27 years I haven't known who I was. 27 years of writing to hide myself. Only to turn into somebody I'm not. Drowning in sarcasm and lies. It's over. Find Jenny. Face the past. Jadi Jenny ada. Semua beban dia udah keluar. Dan dia lega. Cukuran sama ganti baju Nyukur dulu nih Masih juga ada kacanya Di baju Oke sudah siap keluar Hmm, I'm not ready to ride a motorcycle yet. There's no kappa. Okay, go jig, grab. Oke kita nyelesain ini dulu deh. yang di dalam ruangan Tadi ada titik-titik soal Ini dia What did you say your name was? I didn't say what my name was Oh, thanks Mr. Mysterious I'm Faye If you could bring me some ice How did she do it? Dia lagi ngendang semua kejadian gitu ya
Nah, ada kucing-kucingnya nih. Nah, itu ada. Bentar. Hi. Guess who's calling? The thing is, I'd like to see you again. Oh, and I think I lost an earring. If you find it, can you give me a call? Hmm, maybe. We'll see. Did you see that? I drank a glass of water this big in one gulp. Okay, there is something like me. Mom, I'm sorry. I didn't make to. Uh... It's not your fault, sweetie. It's just that when Daddy's sad, he gets upset. You're never going to get sad or upset like that. Promise me. I promise. Is this safer? Ini sepertinya bakalan banyak sedih nih di sini. Si belum di atas masih ada kali.
so much. A pleasure meeting you, Ed. I'm Dr. Lemus. Doctor in what exactly? Doctor? You got one hour. One. Pathetic. Night to B6, Sam. You're still screwed. And the tractor. Okay, saatnya keluar. I'm not going to let you go around hurting people like I can. Just end your miserable life. Ed, honey, you finally went outside. Come and give your aunt a kiss. I knew we could do it together, just like we did last time. The victory isn't ours. It's Dr. Lomas's. Eddie, honey, we've already talked about that. Maybe you should lie down for a little bit. I'm fine. I don't need to lie down. It's just I'd like to talk about... Did you have breakfast? Do you want a little juice and some toast? Suka banget yang ngalihin. Yeah. Why did you make me forget everything that happened? What Dad did? Eddie, what have I always told you? Some things are better left unsaid. 
Or do you want some bacon and eggs instead? When mom and dad died and you took me with you to San Bernardino, I remember night after night of you telling me how much mom and dad loved each other. How both of them watched over me from the stars with Jenny. Happy to see me happy. Because I had to be happy. You brainwashed me? You brainwashed me so I'd only remember the good things. And bury the rest of it. I'm tired. I'm going to lie down for a bit. All clear. <sighs> There are eggs in the fridge, and enough oranges. After the nap, I'll make some three bean chili. We ate some not too long ago, but it's your favorite, so I guess... I'm clear. <laughs> Please, Aunt Claire. I don't know what happened to your dad. I don't, or why he changed like that. It happened so fast. Over the course of a few months. Two years before the end. No reason or explanation. Your mother and I, we tried everything. We talked to him. We asked him. We begged him. We supported him. We got him help. But in the end, we lost him. All your mom had left was you. The possibility that you could still be happy in spite of it all. And when we lost her, I did my best. I'd better lie down for a little bit. Sir. Yeah, I'd better not bother her for now. <laughs> Boss, we pulled the ivy off the wall. You want us to plant it somewhere else? Burn it. Kita masih ngulang. Kejadian-kejadian dulu, eh bukan mula sih mengingat-ingat. Jenny, I think I'm ready to write again. Though, I don't know. I might change my style. Boss, you sure you want us to tear down the treehouse? It just needs a little paint and varnish. Stick to the plan. Tear it all down. Whatever you say, boss. But any kid would be thrilled. Where are you? Ada 
Sepeda motor sebelah situ Gue ke bawah dulu sih Eh salah salah Oke okay. Ke bawah Halo Eh bukan ya Bukan lewat sini Udah lah dari sini aja kalau bisa Samuel Does it always go like this? What do you mean like this? You get the bait ready, throw the hook into the water, and and wait and wait and wait until, if you're lucky, you get a bite, and then wait again. You've just described a perfect relaxing day of fishing. <laughs> then I think I'm more of a chess kind of guy. You like how the dock's coming along, boss? If I were you, I'd turn that frame over there into a bar, throw parties all day, all night. And people would be like, I got invited to a party at Ed Miller's yesterday. The writer, that guy, is living the life. If they only knew. When was the last time someone came over? Okay. Ini ke motor Tapi dia katanya gak, Oh di sini turunnya Katanya dia gak siap naik motor Ini gak ada mobil juga I don't know if I'm ready to ride a motorcycle hmm. Terus dan kaki Jauh kali Ada yang visible wall deh Kemana ke kita Kita cari-cari dulu Jalan Atau masih ada titik yang belum Kita pencet Mamanya selingkuh itu di sini kan tadi. Hmm. Eh bukan. Mana ya? Nah ini. Tu di situ. Tak ada nih. Jenny face the press put chest piece back hmm. bidok eh bidok catur catur termani Bisa naik, nggak bisa juga. Ini tadi udah. Yang kelewat ya sih.
Night to B6, Sam. You're still screwed. <laughs> Boy, don't you remember anything I taught you when you were little, huh? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, why do I always forget about castling? You always defend by attacking, okay? The trick is, always have a safe place for your most valuable pieces. No fun if there's no risk involved. No game if there are no pieces. What's wrong? Aren't you gonna move? Mm. Ah. You're a wise old man, Samuel Franklin. Your chess and fishing advice is never really about chess and fishing, is it? I'm just an uneducated old farmer boy. Stop reading into everything. The one using all the pretty words here is you. Not true. We're more alike than you think. <laughs> you wish. By the way, I know it's not your birthday or anything, but... I saw this the other day in the window at the antique store on East Main, and I thought, well, Frankie Lane, chess, so, uh, I don't know. <laughs> winter, winter. It's a valuable piece, so you know. Keep it in a safe place. Know what? In the early 80s, I was convinced that the Russians were going to fry us all with a nuclear bomb. So I built a bomb shelter under the ranch. I built it myself. With no help from anybody. Uh, Sam, you're even crazier than I thought. Anyway. It can house uh, up to seven people has running water, its own energy supply. No one knows it exists. Not even my nephew, Adam. Just Esther. And me. Why are you telling me about it? Look at us. Look at us what? Neither one of us has. Uh, I mean, we're both missing. We're family. Uh, about that, I, uh, I met. Uh, no. No, what? Hmm. How long have you known? Since Esther saw you leaving the mall. She saw the diapers. In the trunk of your car, too. I've been holding her back a whole week. So she wouldn't come to you with questions. Mm. Uh, Nothing, Major. Well. I met a girl a while ago and, uh, uh, no, the baby is, uh, I don't know where to start. Uh, no rush. Whenever you've got it figured out, as long as you know that, that if the Russians go crazy again, the girl, the baby, and you, are all invited to live in the bunker. Mm. 
Anyway, boy, your turn. Are you gonna make a move or what? Apakah Jenny atau Esther yang ada di sana? Oke, okay. sepertinya kita sudah dulu sampai di sini kali ya game ya. <sighs> Episode yang kali ini benar-benar apa ya roller coaster ya. dari awal kita pertama main jadi si siapa lagi gue lupa, lupa namanya Victoria. Ya. Victoria kita dibawanya kesel gitu, terus tiba-tiba mendarat kita jadi Ed dibawa keliling ingat masa lalunya. dan sedih sih ya tapi paling nggak kita udah tahu motif dari si Victoria itu ngecelakain Ed karena dia cemburu ayahnya itu lebih banyak meluangin waktu buat si Ed dibanding sama dia makanya dia pengen menghilangkan Ed dari muka bumi ini sampai caranya kayak gitu benar-benar nggak habis pikir sih terus habis itu si Ed akhirnya bisa nerima masa lalu dia hmm. dan ya udah berani ngelawan ketakutan terbesar dia selama ini dan akhirnya dia bisa keluar rumah di situ juga dia ketemu Anclair dan udah jelas bahwa motifnya si Anclair itu juga uh, ngebrain si Ed untuk ya itu supaya si Ed bisa tumbuh dengan jauh lebih baik ketika dewasa dan gak ada depresi segala macam. Oke, benar-benar episode yang paling terbaik kayaknya menurut gua karena di sini kita relieving uh, beban terberat kita dan akhirnya si Ed bisa naik motor lagi. Sepertinya gue nggak tahu sih. Kayak mungkin dia bakalan ke tempat bangkar itu. Nggak tahu gue bakalan nemuin siapa dia. Apa ada Esther atau ada Jenny? Gue belum tahu. Yang pasti kayaknya ini udah mau ending kayaknya sih ya. Dan kita sekarang malah harus jadi si Dokter Lumus. Jadi nanti kita lanjutin lagi. Thank you udah nonton. Bye-bye.